All right, I was going to purchase the kids' ride shotgun seat and handlebars for my bike so that I could bring my daughter along for the ride with me. Uh, however, it, with handlebars, it was $185, and I found this alternative on Amazon with the handlebars for $45. Uh, so I was like, you know what? Let's give it a shot. I'm sure it's made of the finest Chinesium, but I don't have the kids ride shotgun, so I can't speak to the quality of that. I'm sure it's better than this. Anyway, this thing is pretty decent. I have it mounted up. It's on. It is solid. I have only two issues thus far before use with this product. One, these are the handlebars. This mounts here. This end is to mount on your handlebars. There's a couple of inserts there to close the gap in the event that uh, you have smaller bars and you have a gap to fill. Now, I am in the predicament where my bars are carbon, pretty large. This does not fit on my bars. So I can't run the handlebars for her. So she's going to have to just hold on to my bars unless I figure out a way to make something similar that will actually fit. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we won't. We will see. That's the first problem. The second problem with this kit, and this is one that's very easily solved, and I'll tell you how to do it, is that these foot pegs are only, yeah, there's only like two threads holding each side of the foot pegs on. And the reason is, is that I don't think you could see in there, but the threaded insert in the peg is only about this long instead of the full peg being a threaded insert because I could have that much that much of this peg be threaded in but they didn't put the threaded insert in the peg to come past like I don't even know where it is it's it's somewhere over here it's like it's like here so that's one turn as a as a turn and a half that's a thread and a half that I have on either side. Look. One. And it's tight. It's not even a thread and a half. So, we're going to solve this problem. And to do so, all we're going to do is go out, figure out what the full length of this thing is. From that end to this end, we're going to go and get a threaded rod and replace this threaded rod with one that we source on our own. And then after that, then this is more of a legitimate option. And now if you have, my bike is carbon. So the down tube is pretty wide for something with a standard round narrow tube, this won't be an issue. But if you have a carbon bike with a wide down tube or an e-bike that you're trying to fit this on, it'll work. It's just a matter of if you want to trust a thread and a half. I don't. You could get that for a threaded rod for practically no money at all. So um, the handlebars, I'm going to figure out a way to make that work because I feel like the position she's going to be in, she'll be leaning too far forward. I'll probably take that quad lock off because I don't want her to hit her face on it. Um, but for $45 versus $185, i will call it a win. I will call it a win. I, I'll go out and get a threaded rod. I don't know. Maybe I'll spend a couple of bucks on that. $50 all in. I'll take it. I'll put a link to this one that I purchased in the description below if you want to go out and get the same, the same option for your bike. That's it.